Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. The most popular video that I have on my channel is a video that I did about the Harbor Freight trailer that we pulled behind our motorcycle. This is it. I bought it 2018, I believe, and I swore that I would never have a motorcycle trailer. We have our second Gold Wing, which is a new 2016. Our first one was a used 2006. And the fellow I bought it from had a trailer that he had made and tried to sell it to me for cheap, like a hundred dollars. And I was convinced that I would never ever tow a trailer behind a motorcycle. But I took the, I think it was a two week trip across country and it just got very old. I, every nook and cranny on the bike was packed with clothes and gear. I even had a bag strapped on top of the luggage carrier. I just got old because everything had to be repacked exactly the same way every morning and there wasn't even room to buy a t-shirt. Uh, no place to put the helmet uh, out of the weather. No place to put my jacket when I took it off. Anyway, came back, bought a Harbor Freight trailer and I did some of the typical upgrades on it and I'll put a link to my previous video in the description to give you more details. But quickly, I made my own homemade swivel hitch made a little rack for a cooler. I upgraded to high speed tires and better bearings and LED lights all around. And instead of just one set of tail lights, I have two sets and my YouTube channel. I think I've taken five trips across country and several local trips. So I've got 25, 30,000 miles in this trailer and still going strong. I'm retired, but I still work as a contractor. It's working out great. I just work on what I want to and I have fun with it. And the point is that I have a little extra money that's not part of our retirement budget that I can just blow and stuff. So I got to thinking Harbor Freight doesn't make this trailer anymore, but Northern Tool does. And Northern Tool, their version is the same basic trailer with some little tweaks. So I got to thinking, eh, why not blow some money on a new trailer? And the reasons are, I guess, mainly, I just wanted another trailer, but I cracked the, f the fender on both sides. The locking mechanism fell apart and I should have repaired that, but instead I drilled a hole through the plastic lip because I think I was on a trip when this thing came apart. And now the plastic is cracking around those holes. That's not good. And the biggest thing is I made a mistake and painted the inside of the trailer yellow, which makes it lighter when you're looking for something, but everything rubs the paint off. So every piece of luggage I've got, anything I put in here that's touching turns yellow. So I'm tired of that. So here's the trailer from Northern Tool. I think it was $599 because I got $100 back as some type of E gift card a promotion they're running right now comes in this nice crate i have to figure out something to do with this crate and if you look at the label on the front they call it the ultra tow and some of the things that this one has that the harbor freight one does not one there's a, a stand for the tongue there's a cooler or luggage rack what do you want to call it it would be a cooler rack for me and it's got a bumper <laughs> on the back i had made a bumper on my Harbor Freight one, I had made a bumper out of bed rail to protect the rear and to have something to mount the extra lights on. So we'll do an unpacking here and show you what came in the crate and how it was packed. But then I will transfer my swivel hitch over to this one. I will upgrade the tires to high speed tires because the ones that come here, even there's a label even here that says max speed 55 miles an hour and that's not gonna work. And I'll update the bearings with better bearings. Other than that though, uh, it'll be stuck. So let's see what's in the box. The two tires are on top. And I will compare these tires to the Harbor Freight, but I think it comes by default with larger tires than the Harbor Freight trailer had. But they're still 55 miles an hour, so I'm going to have to upgrade them no matter what. Okay, there's the lid. <laughs> this looks like the tongue, and I've already been in this deep because here's where the certificate of origin was located. And if you buy this from Northern Tool, they should take that piece of paper and give you a notarized document that you can then take 
to the DMV and get a title for your trailer. This is the bottom of the trailer. These are the, the arms that hold the top up when you lift it up. Pneumatic arms, I'm not sure what they're called, anyway. Box full of bolts. The ball hitch, which I will not be using. Ah, the cooler rack. That's a nice big rack. The springs. And a lot of people take these springs apart and remove one or two leaves to make the ride softer. I don't know that I'll do that. Two fenders, still plastic. I have to find an aftermarket supplier for fenders because I keep, when I'm moving the trailer around by hand here at home, I tend to hit things with these fenders and break them. Oh, these are the, the latches for the front, well, rather the side, to hold the lid down. Axle with the hubs already attached. Like I said, I'm gonna upgrade the bearings in those guys and, and make sure that they're greased really well using grease that I use for other trailers that I have around here. Rear bumper, it's not chrome like the photo, but anyway, it's a rear bumper. And the main frame. It's got the wiring already run for the tail lights, but again, I'm gonna update that. This is a typical four pin connector but I'm going to use a six pin connector with the gold wing so that the turn signals and brake lights can operate independently. Okay, that's it. Now I've got a nice box to do something with. Okay, here's something you may find interesting. I kept the original tire from the Harbor Freight trailer as a spare and it is a 480-8. And as soon as I got the trailer, I knew that I wanted to upgrade the tire. This is a load range B, and I'm pretty sure it's limited to 55 miles an hour speed limit. So I upgraded. Again, I think I got these tires from Northern Tool at the time. Anyway, I upgraded to a 5.70-8 from a 480-8. And this is still load range B, but it's a high speed tire. It says right on it somewhere, high speed. Yeah, right there, high speed. So then I get this new trailer from northern tool right here and it's larger than the other two tires it is a 480-12 the original harbor freight was a 480-8 and i had upgraded to a 570-8 and this one says right on it speed limit 55 miles an hour i compared the spring leaves and the, the new one matches the arch of the old one the same height but it does have three leaves and the harbor freight trailer only had two leaves and i'm pretty sure I did not take one out. I don't remember doing that. And the center bolt that comes up through the middle here, if you look at it on the Harbor Freight, um, the bolt doesn't extend far through the nut. And it would have extended further had I taken one leaf out because there's a bolt that goes up through the middle that keeps the three leaves centered. I'm sure I mentioned it, but I've, I upgraded the tail lights on the Harbor Freight to LED lights all around. And I got four instead of two. And it came with a four pin spade connector so that doesn't work with the way i wanted to set up the light so i ran my own wiring and apparently it's going to be easy i just did a loom and put it in this black plastic stuff here so it looks like i can just cut a bunch of tie wraps and transfer that over to the new trailer and this is my spare tire carrier here i never needed it but i had the tire and i had this laying around somewhere so I carried a spare tire with me all the time. All right, let's put the other one together. So the trailer is mostly assembled. I'm still gonna replace the wheel bearings. And uh, even if you don't do that, you should take the hub off and inspect the grease because I hear that they barely put any grease in these things. So you need to do that. And some things that are, are different. One, it, I said it came with a bumper, but I chose to put my bed frame bumper back because it, has the mounting for my two extra tail lights and this light bar in the middle and, and by doing that I did not have to remove the lights from anything. The tr new trailer came with LED lights all around. Now these are the ones from my other trailer. I just moved them over but it came with nice LED lights and I actually may replace two of these with the ones that came with the trailer just because they'll probably look a little bit different. And anything I can do to the gold wing or the trailer that looks a little odd to get people's attention, I will do it. It's a couple of other minor things. 
I think I'm going to like the, the cooler rack. It doesn't really add that much more weight to the trailer and gives me an option for a fairly large cooler or even some other little piece of cargo or just some place to lay my helmet when I've stopped somewhere. I think I'm going to like that. And the little jack stand. I didn't think it would be worth the added weight because I'm very, very careful about weight with the Goldwing. But it's two or three pounds and I kind of like it. I like that. The chains are larger. Here's the chain that came with the old one. It's, it's a fine chain, but the one, the chain with the new one is an upgraded chain. It's a little thicker. The fit and finish is a little, is a little better. On the old trailer over here at the hinge, I don't know if you can see, it didn't really fit down flush with the bottom half. You can see here, it's about a half an inch. Uh, so there's a gap up underneath there that I tried to take care of with weather stripping. But still, that always kind of bugged me. This should have been down flush. It's like they drilled the holes in the wrong spot there, or they did something wrong when it was put together. Anyway, and you can see here on the edge, there's at least half an inch there. On the new trailer, it fits perfect. No problem. So I do like that. I was concerned about the tires because on the Harbor Freight trailer, it had eight inch tires. So this is, a, I guess, a 12 inch rim. It had an eight inch rim and the tires were definitely not rated for high speed. So I had upgraded the tires on the other one and assumed that I'd have to do it on this one. But it got to bugging me because the 480-12 was larger than the high speed tires that I had put on the Harbor Freight trailer. So I got to doing a lot of research and 72M, 72 has something to do with the load rating, but M means that this tire is rated for 81 miles an hour. And even though it's got a sticker here, it says 55, that's for the wheel, not the tire. So I'm not sure exactly what's behind that. I know they say the trailer itself is only rated for 45 miles an hour. And we know that's BS. We know people are going to tow these things a lot faster than that. So that's probably some lawyer getting involved. I really don't know. And I think the last thing is the actual hub is different. And I don't want to take the hub, the tire back off, but the old one seems to be a welded piece. There's a kind of maybe like a pressed metal ring flange, and then it appears to be welded. And if we go to the new one, it appears to be cast and it's thicker metal, stronger metal. I don't know if that means anything, but it's a one piece casting. Don't know if that matters. Everything else, the way the, oh, that's not right. I got to fix that. That should not be a gap there. Shoot. Anyway, the, the axle and everything looks identical. So overall, I'm really happy with the trailer and I'm glad that I purchased it. Oh, one more thing. I move swivel hitch that I made to the new one. Let me show you the lights. So you can see on the gold wing, I have the brakes applied and a left turn signal. I've got the handbrake bungeed. If you see here on the back of the trailer, the top two lights are the brake lights. And then I have independent light for the turn signals. Of course, they all four are on uh, with the headlights on the gold wing when there's no brake or left turn signal. The all four glow. Let me show you that. Here we are with just the headlights on on the gold wing. I think it looks pretty good. And I think I've said previously, these trailers are designed to be towed behind a motorcycle or behind a car. They have a gross weight rating of 600 pounds when towed by a car. And they say 200 pounds when towed with a motorcycle. And I never put that much in it. The trailer all by itself is about 170 pounds. And I put less than 100 pounds in it. So... 250, so weight wise, 250 is about what I weigh. So it'd be about like another me riding on back of the Goldwing. So I'm not concerned about weight or pushing the Goldwing and I've never had any trouble with it. So that's the Northern Tool motorcycle trailer compared to the Harbor Freight trailer. Harbor Freight trailer is five years old. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.